Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, this is going to be like one of my normal uh, weekend talks. Just kind of a, it's kind of a light one, but a little bit thought provoking. I don't really have an exact um, uh, conclusion on this. This is something that kind of started percolating in my head um, earlier this week and I went through it a couple of times. I thought about it, thought about making a video. Um, I was like, okay, what exactly? I don't know, it's just been running, rolling around in my head for... Um, for several days now. Uh, first of all, let me read the definition. I had to make sure that I was thinking of the right definition here when I use it, but mass hysteria, a condition in which a large group of people exhibit similar physical or emotional symptoms, such as, such as anxiety or extreme excitement. Now, I think about, I've thought about that from time to time. I think about that every time I think about this subject, whether some people get, maybe get caught up in some sort of a mass hysteria. Um, every time that I do something, that somebody proclaims by law that if you do this, you will get this result. And I don't get that result. They don't seem to tear me down, bring this house of raw vegan come tumbling down just because I have a bite or I eat something different. Uh, some of the ones like that are good examples of this. And, and like I say, I'm not trying to start any of the controversies. If you want to go argue about any individual ones, take it outside to argue about it. Because these are some, you know, when people talk about fats, fats can become just this uh, controversial thing, you know. You eat however much fat you want to. You ain't going to really affect how much I'm eating or how much Joe's eating. You take care of you. But fats, the grains, brain grain, if you eat any grains, it's going to do this, 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 and that. Um, raw is law. Cooked food is poison. Sorry, this raw vegan is never, I don't know, I, did not, I, I refrain from, I'm one of those type people that um, doesn't believe in, I'm kind of a never say never guy, but I don't think, I don't think you're ever going to see me evolve to any kind of point where I'm talking about uh, cooked food is poison. Um, but... And I would just like to get some uh, thoughts on this. Do you think that whether, and don't, like I say, don't go for the individual belief on any particular subject or try to defend or break down any particular subject. Just tell me, what do you think in general? Maybe leave some comments below or, um, you know, or just think about it. Um, do you think this is kind of a possibility? Do people kind of get caught up in this thing? Do people, does it get inside people? Is it kind of like putting a suggestion in people's heads sometimes? Emotional eating. Emotional eating is a good one on that. And I don't delve too deep into that subject because people are very sensitive about that and feelings get hurt. And it's almost like there's some of these subjects sometimes we can't really have a rational conversation about because emotions start getting in the way. But... Um, yeah, you know, every time that I do one of these things and my body doesn't fall apart, I'm, I just wonder about that. Like the emotional eating. Is that just something that that suggestion slipped into people's head and they know there's and now you know there's a possibility of it. You're susceptible to falling into it. I mean, emotional eating, I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe that maybe it's a real thing, maybe uh, maybe it's a real thing, but more people think they're, you know, that they, they're dealing with it than are. I mean, I just kind of go back, you know, like I was thinking about this the other night when I was laying in bed and I saw something on emotional eating. I'm like, emotional eating, huh? I'm like, all right, I had only been raw vegan for a year. And when I get locked up two summers ago in Panama, that's about as emotional as it gets. It would have been a lot easier to do that time, you know, eating because there was chicken every day and I was only one year vegan. It would have been real easy to be, ah, oh, I emotionally ate because I was locked up. It was extremely uh, uh, stressful and anxiety filled. Not really, but I could have used that and I could have said, yeah, and I went and I ate these things because I was locked up and I knew as soon as I got out, I didn't. And if there was ever a situation that called for emotional eating, I would think that would be it. Now, once again, I don't want to like come across heavy-handed and say these things don't exist. I'm just asking and kind of thinking out loud, do they exist to the extent that, um, that, that they seem to? Like, you know, whether, like I say, the individual stuff, um, like the fats. You know, people, people proclaim like they are Moses who has come down from the mountain. Exact how much fat, how you should take it in, in what form. They're like, they're fat experts, and they know this. They almost like, you know, like I say, the tablets, those Ten Commandments. God whispered the laws of fat to them. God whispered the laws of grains to them. 
are you taking the word of gurus? Or I, I, do the gurus kind of start this stuff? Does one of the, you know, um, popular, more listened to people throw something out and then all of a sudden, you know, it just kind of keeps going. It kind of keeps going and it becomes like this uh, mass thing, you know. It keeps getting repeated. If it ke keeps getting repeated enough that if you do this, uh, oh God, things are going to fall apart. Um, I don't know. Like I say, I won't make any more, uh, I, don't, I won't have any more examples because like, I, didn't, I don't want to get into debating any one thing like I'm not you know whatever how much fat you eat whether you eat grains you don't eat grains eat cooked food or don't eat cooked food um, like I say maybe I should just set a mission statement here I'm just happy listen I had some people tell me uh, and this is somebody that I went to high school with about I think she it was about a week ago and her husband even wrote to me and they told me they are eating plant-based now they're not eating all raw they're eating more raw and I'm happy and I feel humbled by that because, um, you know, that's two less people that are, um, that are affecting the earth and that are affecting animals and that are, uh, that are um, paying into this farm factory system, this hard system that, that feeds people. Um, and that's what I'm happy about. That's my mission statement is to try to get as many people eating a whole food plant-based lifestyle as, uh, as possible. I'm not interested in this culty, the, I'm not interested in the cult of raw vegan. And I could, you know, I, like I say, I could be. I, and I am mostly raw vegan. When I'm in Costa Rica, I'm fully raw vegan, except for maybe, you know, a little bit of nori, blah, 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 every once in a while. But to convert people to raw vegan is not my purpose. Um, I'm not trying to get more people. And, and you know what? Like I say, I, I will use that word again, because um, when things start getting kind of culty, if, if I'm in any group or around any group of people that give me that culty vibe about it, I don't have to make a big deal and leave a group or do this or that, but I just, I put up my shield because I don't do cults. You know, I'm smart enough, I don't, do, I don't do cults, and I'm not a groupie. So, anyhow, just a little thought-provoking today. Do you think some of the stuff that we talk about and some of the stuff that's proclaimed out there and some of the things that people tend to have you know, this, these common reactions, do you think we, it might be a little bit of mass hysteria out there? Anyhow, that's it for today. I just wanted to, that was rolling around in my head, and I just thought I would share. You know, sometimes it's like a cone, a Japanese riddle uh, thing. You know, uh, you just get, a, you get something, you get a thought running around in your head, and this was just one I thought I would share. I just thought it was uh, worthy of maybe you meditating on it for a while and see what you think about that. Always take responsibility for your own health and always make your own decisions because you are the best authority on you. See you guys. I hope you're having a good weekend and I love you. Peace.